Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here. As I continue with This is America, Charlie Brown, the Peanuts special miniseries, I'm going to review episode 3, which is called The White Brothers at Kitty Hawk. It's a story about Charlie Brown along with Linus, Pepper and Patty, Marcy, and Linus's cousin, Dolly, are discovering the White Brothers, which is Orville and Wilbur, are starting their first flight while Snoopy and Woodstock are demonstrating the principles of flight. It stars Aaron Chase as Charlie Brown, Brendan Stewart as Linus Ben Pelt, Brendan Horn as Cousin Dolly, Jason Mendelson as Pepper and Patty, Tanya Taylor Powers as Marcy, Greg Berger as Orville White, Frank Welker as Wilbur Wright, and Bill Melendez as Snoopy and Woodstock. It's created and written by Charles M. Schultz, and it's directed by Sam Giants. The episode begins as Linus's cousin Dolly had narrated the story. It follows a thousand years ago when man had dreamed of flying. In fact, the ancient Greek myth had a man named Icarus who escaped from prison by making wings of fetters that's being held by beeswax. At the time when Christopher Columbus had discovered America, Leonardo da Vinci was using his sketches for his flying machine. A hundred years later, in 1595, Fausto Renzio had designed the first parachute to land. In 1709, in Brazil, Bartholomew de Gasmalho had created the, his great bird design, which unfortunately was sentenced to prison for defying the laws of gravity. In 1781, Karl Mieswin from Germany had created a glider so he could fly, just like the birds, but he never did. In 1783, the two French brothers, Joseph and Etienne Montgolfier, have actually thrilled the entire world by flying the world's first hot air balloon. Just about ten years later, Jean-Pierre Blanchard flew the first manned balloon in the United States and even in 1894 Sir Hammer Maxim's triple ton biplane just barely got out of the ground but finally in the late 1800s Otto Leifenfall in Germany had created and flew his own gliders but then after he died in a crash with his glider, his American disciples Atuv Chanuv actually flew his glider in America. But by the dawn of the 20th century, no man has been able to fly through the air with a machine-powered aircraft. And that's where the White Brothers had came named Orville and Wilbur, who owned a bicycle shop in 1896. They both had studied earlier centuries of men with their writings and sketches, and spent three years designing and testing out all their gliders, hoping to prove that man can truly be capable of sustained controlled flights. But sadly, these tests have became total failures, leaving them feeling very disheartened and pessimistic. Desperately enough, they decided to relocate their bicycle shop from Dayton, Ohio to Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, which is being located at a small beach town whose shores have appeared to men who are needed to up-constructed land 
and high strong winds right there. And that's what happened on December 17, 1903, when the first ever pilot controlled flight of significance time and distance was taken on a 700 pound aircraft called the Flyer that was being flown by Orville. Only a few spectators had, would witness this event that's going to happen that would definitely change the entire world, whereas everyone else couldn't. But before that happened, Charlie Brown and Linus are riding on a rip warring horse and carriage with Snoopy and Woodstock just so they can go see Linus's cousin Dolly, as I mentioned. But she lives in Kitty Hawk. Of course, Snoopy and Woodstock are demonstrating the principles of flight by using their skills and all that. You know, trying to test them out for themselves. <laughs> Till the end. Well, anyway, Dolly was explaining the news regarding the recent arrivals of the Wright brothers and their experiments. But unfortunately, she doesn't have any trouble convincing Charlie Brown and Linus to ride with her down to the beach with bicycles. And that was at the next morning. But all of a sudden, the tire of Charlie Brown's bike had totaled after he accidentally hit a small boulder. Once they arrived, they ran into the brothers' assistants, which turned out to be Peppermint Patty and Marcy, as they already know, because... <laughs> I mean, after all, you know, they've been part of the Peanuts game for a long time. But it's almost acting like they don't even know who they were. <laughs> well, simple as that. <laughs> anyway, inside the shack were all the other Wright Brothers' um, gliders and, and kites are. That's when Charlie Brown had took one small yellow kite just to see if he could fly it with not a kite eating tree at sight <laughs> but it does have strong winds he had trouble flying the kite as it was going completely out of control until he lands all the way straight down to where the Wright brothers are Charlie Brown felt pretty bad about that so because of that um, the Wright brothers decided to materialize the aircraft and hoping that someday they will fix uh, that kite that he did by accident. Of course, the Wright brothers also explained their failures that they had in the past, even though Charlie Brown has his failures. So anyway, they're trying to set off the aircraft, you know, the flyer, just to test it out with good weather conditions of strong winds and to see if they have time to to try and fly it within several feet up in the air before they crash and repair for a few hours and they later fixed Charlie Brown's bike and they were on their way to go you know, just before Snoopy and Woodstock had picked them up you know, on the horse and carriage but then <laughs> Snoopy and Woodstock was adding their wings and everything to see if this will go and of course, um, Dolly was offering uh, Charlie Brown to to give her a call, and you know, whenever they need to. But Pepper and Patty wanted Charlie Brown to call her first, and then later Marcy. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. It's a very good episode, and it really shows that the Wright brothers, no matter what, how many failures that they have done, they can always try again and they never give up so no matter what they're always going to find their success and that's what it shows here and this is the first and only time that we ever get to see Dolly yeah, Linus's cousin because we never knew that Linus actually did have a cousin but it's really cool because I thought she was very sweet very nice and very kind Yeah that I kind of wish she had been part of the, the Peanuts game so 
we can see her in other episodes, but that certainly wasn't the case. But, yeah. But it does have a lot of great moments, you know, when Charlie Brown was trying to fly the kite that the White Brothers had created. And it, it actually pushed him all the way, and he was like flying as the wind was going completely out of control. Yeah, that was amazing. And also, Snoopy and Woodstock were just testing around on the, the principles of flight, as I mentioned. Whereas Snoopy was uh, trying to fly, but he failed. Yeah, I mean, Woodstock was laughing at him. But then, you know, he took out those two, um, those two leaves. You know, he was like flying around, flapping his wings, and, and it was all set, but yeah, he failed. He was also wearing his goggles, too. So he tried a lot of um, different ways to fly until he finally got it, just when he poked it up onto the horse and carriage. So that was cool. And it was also very interesting to see the Wright brothers, um, yeah, Orville and Wilbur. I mean, they really show how much hard work that they had to do to keep uh, the glider steady and go all the way up to the air. Even though they had to take uh, several hours after they crashed the glider and they had to do some repairs so that way the spectators will be able to discover. Also I begin to notice uh, that uh, Marcy's voice sounds a bit uh, pretty odd. Like it almost sounds more louder than, than the rest of the game. Charlie Brown, Linus, Dolly, and Pepper and Patty. Yeah, so it's almost starting to sound a little low, like maybe it might have been overdubbed, but that was certainly the case. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who noticed that, but, but I apparently noticed it too, seeing that special was in, uh, I believe it was in stereo. Well, either way, or mono. But the animation was well done. It actually has a great score, too. The music was done by Winton Marcellius. So he, he really came up with a modern jazz tune to put in the mix. It really works. And then, of course, some great voice acting all the way. But, even by its standards, it really worked. So I really enjoyed it. So, uh, that's of course the Wright Brothers at Kitty Hawk. So, stay tuned for another review of This is America Charlie Brown Episode 4, which is going to be called The NASA Space Station. Can't wait to review that one. So, I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.